The purpose of a lubricity tester is to measure the film strength or the ability of an oil or an oil additive to provide lubrication. So when I began looking for a product that could test this capability of these different oils and oil additives, what I discovered was it just wasn't much in the market that was within my budget that I could purchase. The products in the market for around $1,000 or so just did not seem like they could provide a reliable test result. So I decided to build my own. Now the way this system works is this is a wheel race out of a bearing set. This wheel race will spin at 800 RPM during testing. This allows for a tremendous amount of friction on a bearing that is not moving. This is a bearing out of a bearing set that has been removed and this bearing is going to be applied directly onto this spinning wheel race which again provides a tremendous amount of friction. The amount of weight that's applied is right at 14 pounds of downward force but we consider the very small amount of surface area on the bearing it actually translates into tens of thousands or even potentially over 100,000 pounds of force being applied to a very small area and that's how you're able to determine film strength. So a lot of people do not like this test and here's why. What they've seen on YouTube or other sort of oil additive demonstrations is the one arm banded approach. Now the one arm banded approach is pretty simple. What you'll see is an individual will apply the bearing on top of the wheel race and then you'll see an individual that has a device similar to this in which they can apply force using their hand and what they will do to manipulate the test is if they want a product to win they won't apply very much force to the arm if they want a product to lose they'll apply a whole lot of force applying a lot more downward pressure obviously you can make a certain product win every single time another thing they will do is they will allow a bearing to burn in and what that means is they will allow the bearing to build up some heat to sort of etch into the bearing when they're applying the downward force and then they will let off they will add some lubricant or they'll make sure that this is thoroughly coated and because it's provided a fairly stable area that's been etched in it then will be very difficult to get a reliable result because that provides a very stable platform for that oil to sort of embed itself so during my testing process to avoid any manipulation I never touch this arm during the test so my procedure is pretty straightforward. The first thing I do is I clean off the wheel race using a 1500 grit. That removes any sort of old oil additive that has been tested on the wheel race. It also allows the additive I'm testing to have something to stick to. A 1500 grit gives it some roughness that allows that product to stick to the wheel race. The second thing I do is I always use the same exact name brand bearing from a bearing set. Then I insert the bearing in the bearing holder. I then apply the product to both the wheel race as well as the bearing. I then apply the weight of the bearing on top of the wheel race. At this point, I don't touch any of this part of the device. Then I will allow the wheel race to spin for 30 seconds. I always time it. After 30 seconds, I shut off the device. I remove the bearing from the bearing set, and then I assess the damage.